We end the week with Steve Hartman and the story of two lives finding new direction after a chance encounter on the road. There were two very different sides to 49-year-old Anita Hughes. Thank you, Jesus. At her church in Cleveland, she was a fearless hurricane. While at home, more like a stationary front. As we first reported last year, she rarely left the house and wouldn't travel anywhere by herself, which is why it was such a big deal when Anita Hughes decided to step way outside her comfort zone and take a trip on her own. I turned the ignition and I actually got on 77 South. And I went. She was headed for North Carolina for a gospel concert and she made it just fine. But on the way home, she got so terribly lost she didn't even know what state she was in. So Anita pulled into the 7-Eleven in Strasburg, Virginia to ask directions. You can see her entering there on the right. Unfortunately, there's no sound, but by all accounts, you could hear her desperation, loud and clear. Can somebody please tell me how to get to Cleveland? I mean, she came in full-throated, like a Broadway star on stage, reaching the back row. She was genuinely turned around. Jason Wright was a customer in the store. He says he gave Anita directions, but she was still scared and skeptical. I said, that's the right way. You come show me how to get to Cleveland. So he did. What? Yeah. He was so nice. I mean, I'm going in the complete opposite direction. You were? I live here to the south. I'm driving north so far out of my way. Jason drove 35 miles out of his way to get her back on track to Cleveland. And then a few days later, drove another 300 miles to take her to the moon. <laughs> Obviously, Anita got a new friend and a new confidence. Jason gave you a lot more than directions that day. Daddy did. Just a little bit of an appliance of affection can change a whole situation. Since their chance encounter, Anita has taken many more trips and got a new job. And as for Jason, he got a new mission, too. What's your name? Roger. In the last year, my name's Cliff. Jason has given rides to more than a dozen other strangers. But yeah, home is where I lay my head. He records and treasures their stories. <laughs> because, he says, if Anita taught him anything, it's that we have a lot more in common than we realize. And we need to start living like it. We're brothers and sisters. And we really do have a responsibility to help one another get home. And you mean that metaphorically, don't you? I mean it in every way imaginable. When one got lost, hope got found. Steve Hartman, On the Road, in Cleveland.